Video.ai, and that's video with the Y, just dropped version two and they completely changed their algorithm. It is now my absolute favorite tool for creating social media clips. I'm going to show it how it works, why it's the best, and why you need to consider adding it to your toolkit all in this video. Let's hit the music. This is the homepage from video. Not the best. I'm not sure why they chose this green and purple scheme. Maybe it's only what I'm seeing on my system. 2 million people are using this platform. I certainly have been using it for a year and it's gotten way better. They have a bunch of updates. They have a tool called Cut Magic. So if you have two people side by side, it will make them over and under when you're editing your video together. They have really good face detection. So they do put the right person in the middle of the frame. Automatic subtitles in multiple languages, which are amazing. You can create your own brand and color kit. They have the B-roll footage ability. The thing that I really care about is accuracy. That's all that matters to me when I'm choosing my tool. Let's look at pricing, and then we're going to dive into just how accurate video AI actually is. They have a free level where you can get 75 minutes per month for free with 720p. It's unbelievable, by the way. You can publish to TikTok. If you want to publish to other platforms, you have to publish directly or use a different tool. You can't use their scheduling app until you're on the paid plan, which is $21 a month if you're on the annual. And if you're paying monthly, it's $35 a month. I can't imagine very many people need to go to the growth plan at $50 a month where you have 600 minutes of content a month. That's 10 hours of video you're editing. At 300 minutes, that's five hours of video. That's all that I need to manage my podcast and everything else I'm generating. The best thing is they give you your minutes for the entire year. So you don't have to worry about your minutes reloading every single month. I really like that. I think the pricing is reasonable for how good it is. But here's what really matters. How good is the clip detection? Let's go inside Video AI and I'll show you. This is what my dashboard looks like. If I want to add a new project, I just click here and I upload a video. When you upload, you then tell it what type of video it is. I'll say it's a podcast with two people, interview style or Zoom style, and that's all I have to fill in. Here's my most recent podcast episode, episode 313 with Blake Birch. It generated 18 clips. When I look at the dashboard, it gives every clip a score how likely they think it is to succeed. There are a lot of elements this page that I don't care about. All I care about is how good are the clips. Under each video, I'm going to click description and transcript. And I don't read the description, I read the transcript. Here's the first clip they selected. What exactly is automation? How does that apply to business? From my perspective, it's all about trying to figure out what are the levers you're pulling on a day-to-day -day basis? What is the monotonous work that you find yourself doing again and again, manually and trying to pick apart? How can I take each one of those actions? And here is a way to like write a script to do it for me or take myself out of the picture. I don't have to be a middleman. It's really all about trying to streamline basically every task and free yourself up from having to do it continuously. This is a great clip. The beginning and the end are logical. In the past, with every single clip selector, I've had to move the beginning and the end. This is a clip that I am going to be publishing when that episode goes live. I've already selected that clip. Let me go to the second clip. But I think ultimately we're going to have this desire to not specify at least a little detail. We really want to be able to describe the context of how something gets done and specify what we want it to look like at the end but not all the extra little details. We don't want to have to sit there and record it. We don't have to sit there and clean it up and make sure it works correctly. We just want the work done. I think that's the only way to get there is by having more of the AI tools fill in the gap to make that easier. Great clip. The first two clips are winners. I've never had this before. With any tool I've tested, with every tool I've compared, I've showed other tools in the past. This one is ACES. The biggest mistake people make when they hire their first VA is getting them broad goals without mechanics or steps. They'll say, grow my social media. What does that mean? Which social media channel? What's your metric? What's your ROI? You don't know. What's your process? How many posts do you want per week? If you don't give them your recipe, then they don't know if they've done a good or bad job and you'll never be satisfied. This is why everyone hires and fires their first VA. It's such a common mistake. The first three clips are all usable. Let's go into the editing process. They have a ton of templates for you to work from. And you can choose which style you want, if you want a top and bottom. If you have two people, I don't because when I make my videos, it shows one person or the other. I don't do side by side. You can choose from all of these different templates, which are really great. I actually have my own that I use every single time. So I click this one button and it's ready to go. I can now hit share. But let me show you some of the granular things you can change. I can click on the text. Not only can I choose a font, I can upload my own. I've actually uploaded my own that I use, which is Roboto Condensed Dash Bold. This is the font that I like to use. This is the font I was using in Descript. I was happy with it, so I moved it over to get the same result. You can choose if you want a background effect, a block effect, outline effect, shadow effect. You can choose if you want the letters to be capitalized, sentence case, or title case. You can have it automatically add emojis to the text. All of this is so simple. 
with cut magic, if you have two people side by side, it will automatically show whoever's talking or show both people. It does that really well. I've tested that tool. You can add in media if you want to add in other clips or elements around it. In the past, I was using these types of templates. I've just switched to what I use, which is much simpler now. And you can play around with the background and create your brand kit or have a stock background for the type of clips I create, which are just the person speaking with text with the green behind them to match the color of the logo design for the artificial intelligence podcast. I have everything I need. When I'm ready to publish the clip, I click share and I can choose download or publish to social media. The social media publishing is really cool. Let's say I want to post to LinkedIn. If I want to add a thumbnail, I can. I don't need to write the caption. I can click one button, wait a couple of seconds, and it writes the caption for me. I can play around with it. This has more hashtags than I like. I always want three to five. So I'm going to dump goal setting. Virtual assistant, hiring tips, social media strategy are fine. So now I have three. The other thing I like for, my, for things I'm going to post to LinkedIn is to space them out. So each sentence, I'm going to space it. Personal taste here. This is more readable for someone looking at it. I click on where it says now, and I can schedule the post. And then it will publish it on exactly that date. This is a podcast episode that's coming out in more than 10 weeks. So I can schedule when it's happening. I can click publish. Then I go back and choose any other social platforms I want to put it on. I just don't like this mechanic of how I have to schedule it. I would rather it be side by side where it shows the different platforms or just a way where I can pick what I want it to publish and we'll go to all the different social platforms at the same time. That's because I'm scheduling so far ahead. For publishing right now, it's basically the perfect tool. But for scheduling, I would like the mechanic to be a little simpler. This is the only thing that I don't really love about this tool. I use a different social media scheduler because I have social media content from so many different places. I like to just publish it from one platform. That's the only thing I don't love about video. The scheduler itself is really solid. If you're just focused on one platform, it's really easy. Because I'm doing so much content from multiple places, I don't use it very often. But in the past, I've used it, and I've really loved the result. I'm just transitioning away because of an organization thing. Other than that, the fact that this picks the right clips kind of makes everything else irrelevant. Because the only thing I care about is clip accuracy, and this has that. There you have it, a very quick down to dirty introduction to video.ai with their new version. They've really impressed me. I'm changing my workflow to go back to using this as my primary source of clip generation. All the bells and whistles, the scheduling, the templates, the emojis, the B-roll, all that stuff is cool, but I really don't care about that. I care about accuracy. Most of my time when generating clips with these tools is changing the start and end time. Because this gives me a great clip that I don't have to edit, it saves me so much time in my workflow. And I absolutely love Video AI for making this change. I'm very impressed with the new algorithm. This is hands down the best social media clip picker I've seen out there. None of the other ones have this level of accuracy. With Opus, it doesn't do it. With Descript, it's okay, but I have to manually choose the clip every single time as I've shown in previous videos. With Video, I can click it, choose a clip and have it out and downloaded in less than two minutes. That's amazing and I absolutely love it. Hope you guys are as impressed by those tools as I am. Let me know in the comments below what you think about these clips, if you played around with video or if you like a different tool for accuracy. As always, your feedback matters. If you hit the like button, more people will see this video. If you hit subscribe, I appreciate that so much. It means more of my content will show up in your feed. And when you hit the bell, you'll get notified every single time I post a video. Thank you so much for lasting all the way to the end. This is Jonathan from Servo Master, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching one of my videos. Hit the like button, and then I've got a couple of sweet videos that I think you're gonna like. I've got one here and another one over here. You're gonna love them.